Thank you for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing. We are going to talk about the first atmospheric river to impact Southern California this year with widespread precipitation. This will bring heavy rain and high elevation snow for late Thursday through Friday. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Wanted to show you a couple of things first here. Tuesday morning, we woke up to sunny skies, but we also had snow covered mountains and foothills as shown here on weather satellite. We had a lot of weather over the past few days, even in our metro areas with high winds. You might have seen some of this weather here, hail or grapple. Which one did you have? Well, hail is very hard ice and it tends to fall in unstable showers like we saw on Monday. Grapple also tends to fall in unstable showers and cold weather systems, but it is much softer to touch and crush crushable if you pick it up with your fingers. It is actually a snowflake encased in thin ice, so technically still snow. Here is some of the rainfall we saw across San Diego County. It was widespread, inch to an inch and a half along our foothills and mountains. On the coast, not as much, but most locales had around a half inch of rainfall. Of course, it was mostly snow up in the upper elevations above 2,000 feet. We also saw snow in elevations as low as 1,500 feet across the Inland Empire, and even some snow in the high desert. Rainfall was generally quarter to half inch. Some locations had around two thirds of an inch and our wettest locations in the Cajon Pass and the Santa Ana Mountains, just over one inch of water. Of course, that was snow in the mountains and big snowfall of six to 14 inches above 5,000 feet. Now that also equates to two to three feet of snow since Friday. So are we all caught up with this recent precipitation and snow? Well, definitely not. We're still 25 to 50% of average here in Southwest California. So we still have quite a ways to go to get close to average. Here are the highlights for the storm late Thursday in the overnight hours into Friday morning. We do expect precipitation to increase Thursday. It looks like mainly Thursday evening, so late in the day. We also will see high winds over the mountains and we're going to see significant snowfall, new snowfall on top of the already two feet of snow above 6,000 feet. Now snow levels will begin high between six and 7,000 feet, but they'll lower down to around 5,000 feet Friday morning. Uh, we could see snow as low as 4,000 feet when the coldest part of the storm goes through midday Friday. Now the heaviest rainfall rates will be a concern. We'll see a quarter to half inch per hour in the bands of heavy rain. And that's likely to be Thursday night and early Friday morning. We're gonna see widespread in this situation, one to two inches of rain, even in our metro city areas. And most locations will potentially have some urban or small stream type of flooding. Even some of the rain will spill over in our deserts, especially in our high deserts, when that heavy rain band moves in. This will be impact to travel, urban flooding, potentially even some mud flows, and of course, snow covered roadways above 6,000 feet again. This is an atmospheric river, so it is milder and it is slow moving as it comes through late Thursday and Friday morning. It does bring a greater impact to our burn scars. So if you are downstream of a burn scar, you should talk to your local officials and public works about what is expected out of you in that area. We're gonna see rain enough to cause some rises to our rivers. Here's the latest forecast for the San Diego River, where we do expect it to range between seven and nine and a half feet. Looks like that'll occur early Friday morning. Here's a look at how much rain and snow we expect. Precipitation. Again, most of this will fall Thursday night and Friday morning, but we are looking for widespread one to two inches of rain, 
even almost an inch spilling into the high deserts. Our wettest locations that face the south and west will receive upwards to near three inches of new precipitation. You can see even a spillover of a half inch in the Coachella Valley and Borrego Springs. The winds, well, the winds will be gusting out of the south ahead of the storm on Thursday and Thursday night. We will see gusts exceeding 40, approaching around 50 miles per hour in our windiest locations in the passes and along the ridges. Not quite as windy for coastal areas like we saw on Monday. Snowfall will be significant from this storm again, and we are expecting a few inches all the way down to 5,000 feet. But significant snow of 8 to 18 inches above 6,500 feet. Again, most of this will occur Thursday night and Friday morning. The storm system that's bringing this rain and snow is already in the eastern Pacific. It's going to slowly slide eastward on Thursday. It'll be just to our west, approaching L.A. Then by Friday morning, it'll be right on top of Southern California, as shown here. Now, further out, we do expect another storm to start impacting California. It looks like that storm will wait until middle of next week, starting Tuesday for Southern California. So that gives us a break over the weekend. Now, we did discuss about this being an atmospheric river, and that begins late on Thursday, as shown here. First, it'll push into L.A. and Orange County, reaching L.A. County uh, early Thursday and reaching Orange County late in the day on Thursday. It'll slowly push through Thursday night, bringing that precipitation into the San Bernardino Mountains. But when we get into Friday morning, the precipitation and the main band of heavy rain will be right on top of us, as shown here. And it'll last leave San Diego County by midday Friday. Here are some of the details, depending on your location. The bottom line is widespread precipitation starting Thursday evening in earnest, but heaviest Thursday night and Friday morning. We are talking about one to two inches of widespread rain with about half of that spilling over into the deserts. Significant snowfall for our mountains, especially above 6,500 feet. But snow levels Friday do get down to between four and 5,000 feet. So we do expect some accumulation all the way down to 5,000 feet. The majority of the heavy rain will occur Thursday night during the dark hours, with some of it lingering into Friday morning. Here are the highlights. It is an atmospheric river, tropical moisture tapped into the specific storm. So we do expect higher snow levels, but they will come back down as the main storm moves through on Friday, but still eight to 18 inches of snow. Thursday evening and Friday morning is the main window for precipitation. Thursday evening to Friday morning. It'll also be, along with the heavy snow in the mountains, gusty winds in our mountains and ridges and passes. Most of the rainfall will occur along the band or the atmospheric river. Again, that's Thursday evening into Friday morning. Significant amounts of one to two inches, even for our major cities. This will result in some urban flooding, minor river flooding as well from the runoff. Mud and debris flows are possible, and also some rock slides. The extra snow and the rain runoff will also complicate things, especially up around five to 6,000 feet where it initially starts as rain. Follow the weather at the link shown here and check the latest watches, warnings, and any advisories issued on weather.gov. Thanks for tuning in and be safe.